Hello and welcome to 311 Drina Avenue, New Lebanon, Ohio. Here I am out in one of our two driveways walking up to the front of the home. First thing you'll notice, we have a brick ranch home here with a one car attached garage. The house does have a floor to room on the back, but the thing I wanted to point out to you mainly, there's a nice surprise back here. We're gonna go ahead and walk up the driveway here. Huge driveway, plenty of parking. It's not a shared driveway. There is a space, a line right there. But this goes back to, check this out. It looks like a two car detached garage, but it's basically a four car because it is so deep. It is a just massive garage. Outdoor covered patio here and then a Florida room inside here. Guys, this house like this does not come along that often with basically a five car garage. This is on two lots. Uh, the yard could be fenced in if you went through the driveway right there. Brick garage. Let's go inside and take a look and check it out. All right, so here I just walked through the front door. We have a good sized living room here. With a little carpet and paint, this room is pretty much squared away and done. And that goes really for the most house. The house has good bones. Furnace in here doesn't look too old. The water heater doesn't look too old either. Coming down here, we have our coat closet and linen closet to our right, right here. Full bathroom to the left. And this looks in pretty good shape. Floor in here looks decent. It looks like maybe some caulk in there and the bathroom would be good. This bedroom is on the back right of the home. Again, looks like some carpet and paint would be looking good in there. Bedroom, eh, we'll call this two. I might have the room sizes labeled differently. This is on the front right of the home. This is the, kind of the middle size bedroom. And then the middle bedroom, this is on the front middle of the home. Closets over here to the right. So three bedrooms, one bath, and then we do have a surprise on this house. I already spoiled it. We have a Florida room, but a big kitchen, long hair, wall oven, refrigerator, do stay. This is an attached one car garage, which is really nice because you can park there in the winter time. And if you're into storing stuff or, you know, gearhead or hoarder, whatever, you have a massive garage. And I'm going to try to get us inside that as well. Laundry room here. And then here's our Florida room. It does need a little bit of work in here. Uh, there's some, uh, definitely needs a new roof on the Florida room here. But a lot of windows and you could grill out there and eat in here if it's raining. Just a very, very nice setting. Next, let's see if I can get you inside the garage. You know, it doesn't look it from the outside. It looks like it's just a two car garage, but look at how big this thing is. This thing is massive. Definitely a four car garage just here, plus our one car attached garage. Just give you a perspective. I'd say this parking slab from the line here to here, and don't quote me on this, but I'd say it's 10, 12, eh, maybe 10 feet. So, I mean, this is super deep. So you figure a car is gonna stop right there. You have all this other, so one, two, three, four, and honestly, it's an oversized because with that door right there, boom, boom, you still have all the storage over here. Uh, doesn't look too old. The OSB on the ceiling up here looks pretty good. Okay, this is a, just a car lover, hobbyist, run a home-based business. There's so many options you can do with this garage. And with a little bit of TLC, this house and garage, I mean, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, especially at this price. You never see this at this price. Heck, some people might pay this price just for the garage. So if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this fine home and I look forward to talking to you.